Hello techies. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with analyze image action which is available under Microsoft Computer Vision Actions. By using analyze image action, we have analyzed the image with visual features such as categories, tags, description, faces, image type, color, adult, objects and brands. Along with that, we got the details which includes celebrities and landmarks. Now, as a good practice, I have given this variable as subscription key and I have stored the subscription key inside the variable called subscription key. All right, and I'm going to use this subscription along my flows. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to describe the image by using describe image action with computer vision API. Let me show you a small example over here with an image. If you see on my screen, I'm having two people. One is Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella, another one founder of Microsoft Bill Gates. I want to describe the image over here. These two people are posing to their foes and after that, these people are standing in front of a building. This is how I am going to describe by looking into this picture. But how can we go ahead and we can describe the image by using computer vision API? In that case, we are going to use describe image action, which is available under computer vision actions. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Describe image action generates a description of an image in human readable language with complete sentences. The description is based on the collection of content tags, which are also returned by the action. More than one description can be generated for each image. All right. Now, if you see the input parameters for the describe image, first one is the server location. The computer vision API having the server location, right? In that, we have given the region over there. The same region, we are going to select it over here. Let me show you once again the computer vision, which we have created previously. We have created with the name of Power Automate Desktop Computer Vision API. And there you can see I'm having keys and endpoints. There you are having key one and key two. The location and the region you can see over here as East US and the endpoint is that Power Automate Desktop Computer Vision API dot cognitive services dot Azure dot com. Now, if you see the region, I'm having East US, the same region or server location, we are going to mentioning it in Power Automate Desktop in Describe Image. There you can see I'm having server location. I'm going to select East US. What will happen if you are going to give different server locations? In that case, it won't allow to use the computer vision API. I will show you that. Now, the second parameter, we are having subscription key. The subscription key I have already stored in the variable that is subscription key. Let's select that. Now, we are having provide image. There are two input methods it will be supported. One is from file, another one from GCS. I will show you two options right now in this particular tutorial. First of all, I'm going to select from file. From whenever you are going to select from file, you have to select the image from your local computer or local path. Now I'm going to select the image file over here in my local folder that is describe image. I'm having an image with Satya and Bill Gates. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click on open. Now over here, you can see I'm having max candidates by default. The max candidates value will be one. If you want to define more than one, in that case, you're going to use the num count in integer format. And now I have given the value over here as two so that it will be defined in the description as two values. All right. Now, if you see the advanced, we are having timeout. This is the connectivity between two servers that is Power Automate Desktop and the Azure Cognitive Services. Now, the default timeout is 30 seconds. Now we'll talk about the 
variables produced that is output parameters there we are having json response another one is the status code the json response having the tags as we discussed we are having the content tags over there which it will describe about the image if you are having more than one person in the particular image then it will be described each and every image over there and in the description or in the json response it may include the celebrity and landmark domain models also if it is applicable all right now the status code a successful response will be returned in the json with the status code 200 if it is failed the response will contain an error code and a message to help to understand what went wrong that is for 400 now what i'm going to do i'm going to change the variables produced over here i'm going to give the json response as I have given the name over here as description image JSON and the status code also I'm going to give it as description image status code to make just to make to understand in the output. All right. Now let's click on save. Before that, I don't require the analyze image action over here. Let me disable that and let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and the flow has been executed successfully. Now, if you go for the description image, there you can see the description with the tags. You can see inside the tags, what are the tags that we are having. If you click on that, that what it will say, I'm having a person in the image. I'm having building a man standing outdoor, right? They're standing at windows and front. You can see these are all the tags, couple, people, holding. They're having, they're wearing glasses, shirt, group city and all whatnot all the tax values have been included over here now if you see the captions over here it's a describing about the image you can see over here the text satyanadala comma bill gates are posing for a picture and you can see the conference level over there as 0 0.96 there is another text also there which is describing about the image satyanadala bill gates standing in front of a building right there also you can see the conference level that is 0 0.923 all right this is the description of an image in the understandable or readable language format with the complete sentences has been given by using describe image action all right now we have seen the action that is describe image with the input that is provide image from file now what i want to do i want to do from gcs that is nothing but google cloud storage whenever you are going to select from gcs you need to provide the image url now let me go back to the browser there i'm having the same image which satanadella the ceo of the company and the bill gates are standing in front of a building right i'm going to select the same image i'm going to copy the image address and then the same url i'm going to provide inside the image url all right now let's click on save now once again let's run the flow to see the output flow has been executed successfully now if you see the description image over here can you see the beauty over here that i'm having the same kind of tags over here you can see the captions Inside the captions, I'm having Satyanadala Bill Gates are posing for a picture with the confidence of score. Another one, Satyanadala Bill Gates standing in front of a building. The conference you can see over here as 0.9203 with the score. All right. Now I have selected both of the same images, right? So that you may get a little bit confused. I'm going to use another image over here. And I'm taking one more image over here with Microsoft CEO Satyanadala addressing bill gates controversy so i'm going to copy the image over here and then i'm going to paste the image url inside the description image in image url let me change that and then i'm going to click on save now once again let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and the flow has been has executed successfully now let's open the description image once again now you can see the beauty over here i'm having the tags right and also i'm having captions over here now if you open once again you can see the different things over here bill gates 
Satya Nadella are posing for a picture. Both are the same with the conference level with the score of 0 0.96 and 0 0.9602. A slight difference is there. All right. That's the reason I have selected one more image over here to make you understand. Right. Now, what I want to do, I want to read this data from the JSON. How can we go ahead and do that? I'm going to use for each action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, the values iterate from where I need to get it in the JSON response, that is describe image JSON response, I'm going to get the value, All right? Now over here, if you observe, I got an error saying that variable description image JSON response must be a list data table or data row. Why it has been given in such a way? If you see the description over here, I'm having the description inside the description. I'm having the captions, the captions I have given in the custom object, right? You can see over here, this is the list of objects. This is the list of custom objects so that you want to define the for each loop in the list only so that what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the changes over here in the for each action and I'm going to give the description which is having inside the captions also in the square brackets in the single quotes I have mentioned it. All right. Now the list of the values which we are having in the custom object has been stored in the current object. Let's click on save. Now you can see the error has been disappeared. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to display the text over there, which are there inside the captions. All right. For that, I'm going to use display image. Let's drag and drop this display image onto the workspace inside the for each action. Now message box title, I'm going to give it as describe image and the output message to display, I'm going to select it as current item of text. Because of in the captions that we are having that text. All right, now let's click on save. Now, once again, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. It is going through the for each loop and then it has given the output as by describing the image, Bill Gates, comma, Satya Nadala are posing for a picture. In the second output also, we are having the same. Let's click on OK. We will see that. Now, if you see, I'm having the same output, Bill Gates, comma, Satya Nadala are posing for a picture. This is what we got it from the captions or from the text by using describe image action by using computer vision API. I hope you understand how to work with describe image action as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.